welcome my dear children parents and grandparents to this prayer service on the occasion of parents day as we begin our time of prayer together let us take a comfortable posture let us mark ourselves with the sign of our faith in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit amen as we gather around the altar we remind ourselves that jesus is always with us in everything we do each year parents day is celebrated around the feast of saints joachim and anne the parents of our blessed mother mary parents singularly play the most important role in the upbringing of their children by carrying out their god-given vocation of being the first formators of their children parents not only sow the seeds of a future society but even more so the seeds of the church through the love support forgiveness and acceptance of what their children do in a very real way parents are called to be the face of god's love and mercy to their children through this short prayer service we would like to thank god for the gift of our parents this morning we give thanks for our parents and grandparents for all that they do for us and with us for all that they teach us for the love we share with them and most importantly for being the face of god's love and mercy to us always we begin by welcoming them in song this is the day service is parents earthly faces of the prodigal father in his first letter saint john tells us that god is love we are invited to love each other unconditionally to forgive without judgment and to live as people who believe that all are made in the image and likeness of god now we are going to listen to a story that helps us to understand that wonderful love and mercy of god let us prepare our hearts to listen to god's word a reading from the gospel according to luke chapter 
verses 11 to 32. Jesus continued, There was a man who had two sons. The younger one said to his father, Father, give me my share of the estate. So he divided his property between them. Not long after that, the younger son got together all he had, set off for a distant country and there squandered his wealth in wild living. After he had spent everything, there was a severe famine in that whole country and he began to be in need. So he went and hired himself out to a citizen of that country who sent him to his fields to feed pigs. He longed to fill his stomach with the pods that the pigs were eating, but no one gave him anything. When he came to his senses, he said, How many of my father's hired servants have food to spare, and here I am, starving to death. I will set out and go back to my father and say to him, Father, I have sinned against heaven and against you. I am no longer worthy to be called your son. Make me like one of your hired servants. So he got up and went to his father. But while he was still a long way off, his father saw him and was filled with compassion for him. He ran to his son, threw his arms around him and kissed him. The son said to him, Father, I have sinned against heaven and against you. I am no longer worthy to be called your son. But the father said to his servants, Quick, bring the best robe and put it on him. Put a ring on his finger and sandals on his feet. Bring the fattened calf and let's kill it. Let's have a feast and celebrate. For this son of mine was dead and is alive again. He was lost and is found. So they began to celebrate. Meanwhile, the older son was in the field. When he came near the house, he heard music and dancing. So he called one of the servants and asked him what was going on. Your brother has come, he replied, and your father has killed the fattened calf because he has him back safe and sound. The older brother became angry and refused to go in. So his father went out and pleaded with him. But he answered his father, Look, all these years I've been slaving for you and never disobeyed your orders. Yet you never gave me even a young goat so I could celebrate with my friends. But when this son of yours, who has squandered your property, comes home, you killed the fattened calf for him. My son, the father said, You are always with me, and everything I have is yours. But we had to celebrate and be glad, because this brother of yours was dead and is alive again. He was lost and is found. The Word of the Lord Thanks be to God This is a well-known story from the Gospel according to St. Luke. Jesus told many of these stories called parables to the people who gathered to listen to him. He did this because he wanted them to know how God, our Heavenly Father, wanted them to live if they chose to follow Him. The word prodigal means wasteful. 
On the one hand, the story tells us how the younger son wasted away his life and his father's inheritance. On the other hand, the story shows us the unconditionally loving and merciful face of God in the way that the father welcomed back his younger son, totally ignoring his wastefulness. It also shows us how hard it can be to be loving and merciful as we see from the reaction of the older brother when his younger brother returns. Though this parable is called the prodigal son, many have suggested that it deserves to be called the prodigal father because it is really a story that tells us how God is wasteful of his love and mercy on us. We are all called to be merciful as God the Father is merciful. So often parents are called to display these virtues of love and mercy to their children. The relationship that you have with your children is often characterized by unquestioning love and support of knowing that they will always be welcome, that there will always be a hug and a space for them to be who they really are. Parents are indeed the face of God's unconditional love and mercy for many children. Today, we celebrate the gift that you are to your children. We pray for you, we give thanks for you, and we ask God's blessing on each and every one of you. Let us spend a moment in silence and remember moments when we have experienced the love and mercy of our parents even when we may have not deserved it. We will now have a simple ritual within our families. Living together sometimes may lead to misunderstanding and bitter moments between parents and children. The gospel passage we have just heard invites us to practice unconditional love and forgiveness. For our ritual, we invite you to share a loving embrace with each of your family members and while doing so, if there has been any misunderstanding or shortcoming, let us also ask forgiveness from each other and say to each other, I love you. Feel free to also tell each other one concrete thing you love about that person. Father, I have sinned. Help me find my way. Remember not my sins. Just let me hear you say, I forgive you. I love you. You are mine, take my hand, go in peace, sin no more, beloved one. Father, I have turned my back and walked away, depended on my strength. I have
who are our second parents in faith. Continue to bless them as they carry out their roles in our lives. In your mercy. parents share with us. They share their lives and gifts and play a special part in how we learn and live our faith. Lord, help us to share all that we have and all that we are. Help us to be the face of God's mercy to all we meet. Together, we pray the prayer that Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from all that is evil. As we come to the end of our celebration this morning, we will pray our final blessing together, inviting the children to extend their hands over their parents and grandparents and repeat the prayer. Loving God, loving God, bless all our parents, bless all our parents and grandparents, and grandparents, those with us here today, those with us here today, those who cannot be with us, those who cannot be with us, and those who have gone, and those who have gone to be with you, to be with you. May they heed your call, may they heed your call to share their wisdom. Faith with us and faith with us. May they have courage, May they have courage and, confidence and confidence to hand on your gifts, to hand on your gifts of, experience of experience and knowledge of stories and knowledge of stories, songs and memories. Songs and memories. May they continue, May they continue to learn and grow, to learn and grow with us day by day. Bless them, bless them, and all of us gathered here today, and all of us gathered here today, with health of mind and body. With health of mind and body, we make this prayer, we make this prayer through Christ our Lord. present the cards you have made to your parents. Thank them for bringing you up and loving you always. Let us now give thanks to Jesus and to our parents as we sing this hymn, Thank You, Thank You, Jesus. Jesus, thank you, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, thank you, Jesus, from my heart. Thank you, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, thank you, Jesus, from my heart. Thank you, thank you, parents. Thank you, thank you, parents. Thank you, thank you, parents, from my heart. Thank you, parents. Thank you, thank you, parents. Thank you, thank you, parents, from my heart. We will always love you. We will always love you. We will always love you from my heart. We will always love you. We will always love you. We will always love you from my heart.
let us end this time of prayer by once again invoking the Trinity. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. My dear parents and grandparents, wishing you all a very happy feast. May God bless you. Have a wonderful day. Enjoy yourselves with your family.